I'm rich. Say, oh, no, 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 you're not rich. You don't have money. No, I'm rich. And how do you know? I've made the observation. The word of God reveals to me that this is who I am. And I have observed that and that is who I am. So now the next thing is I go into the doings of the rich. I begin to exercise myself like the rich. The rich have a way they think, so I think that way. The rich have a way they act, then I act that way. So now I'm doing, I'm acting. I'm acting. The last thing that would eventually show up will be the havings. The havings. So all of a sudden, now I have things. But people want to have first. They want to have first. So they are looking for the things. You, you think about it. I, 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 who, who ever watched that show? Uh, on TV many many years ago uh, Mr. B I think Bassi and Company it's a show that was showing in Nigeria um, Bassi and Company and that show was very funny because the main character for the show his name was Bassi Mr. B and he would always say things like this uh, you want to be a millionaire think like a millionaire now he had the right quotes he had all the right quotes but one he didn't have the mindset of the millionaire he didn't have the doings of a millionaire. He was pursuing the havings of a millionaire. You know, like many people are doing right now. You, you just think about it. In this day of Instagram, there are many people who are so rich on their page and poor in life. <laughs> you think about it. They're so rich on their page. They go meet a friend and maybe they get to their friend's house and there's a wristwatch on the table. They put that wristwatch in their hands very, very quickly and pose and they take a picture like this and they snap and they say, man, we've arrived. Then they post it on their, on their Instagram. The wristwatch is not theirs. They've dropped it. So they, they, they just put something on them and they pose and, and that's it there. Then they throw it out there and they say, oh, we are rich. Oh, my goodness. You are, you are turning, you're turning the, the catapult. You're turning it out. You, you are missing it. It starts with being. It starts with your mind. It starts with your mind. And this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. It says, Thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe. Shaoma. Thou mayest observe. Then he says, To do. So, being, then doing. Look at all the visualizations you're doing. Your being, your doing, all that is written therein, then he says, For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have, have. So you see that? Having now good success. So the order is being, doing, having. And that's what you do. And I, I say to you, have your times of visualization. Maybe this comes to me very easily because I'm an architect. I'm an architect by training and you know that this is the way you create. The process of creating is in this way. It's in this way. You use your mind. Now look at this. It says, if the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge, then must he put to more strength. But wisdom is profitable to direct. What I'm referring to is the renewal of the mind through the Word of God, not the education of the mind through the senses. The education of the mind through the senses only just helps you to um, actually have the capacity and have all that you require to, to eventually um, learn. I tell people you, you went to school to learn how to learn. That's actually why you went to school. To learn how to learn. That's why, that's why you went to school. That's why at the end, of your time in the university you write a project so that you, because i mean all that learning has brought you to the place where you can actually come up with a new body of knowledge do a research and come up with your own contribution to that field that's why you went to school to learn how to learn so but there is the renewal of the mind where your soul becomes now a sharp tool for your spirit to use becomes a sharp tool for your spirit to use 
it is like you have your senses the, the senses of a, um, a, 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 an athlete for example is so sharp it's so sharp if you are you are a, a, a tennis player you've you've developed your senses such that it's so sharp if someone strikes the ball you know where it's going before before he strikes it you, you're already there you've trained your senses now so your body works differently from a regular person your spirit can be so trained and your mind and your soul can be so trained that your soul and mind will become a dependable guide for your spirit so he says if the axe is dull i want you to observe this the axe i'm referring to here it's not some axe to, to for you, that you use to fell a tree i'm talking about the axe of your spirit the axe of your mind really the axe of your mind if that tool that god has given to you if it is dull if your mind is dull he says the edge unsharpened unrenewed you will need to use more physical muscle have you observed the sharper your mind the less physical strength you require to succeed you know many many years ago i was i was just a young chap and i was traveling from city to city um, having programs being invited and I would take public transport one of these days I think I was in Onitsha Onitsha is a, a, a city in eastern Nigeria and I was there and I saw some guys you know they were pushing these trucks um, pushing and pulling these trucks and carrying these heavy um, loads and I was looking at them some of them were bare bodied and I was looking at their body you know their muscles are all formed their six packs showing but this six pack is not the normal six pack. This is the six pack from, from carrying loads. And I was just thinking, okay, now they're depending on physical strength. If they don't sharpen their minds, if they don't train their minds, what would they do when they are 60? What would they do when they are 70? When the physical strength will not be there anymore. When I read the scriptures, I found another kind of man. I found Solomon god gave him wisdom solomon will sit down people will travel from different parts of the world because solomon's mind bible says he gave him phronesis more than anybody else in the world solomon's mind was sharp his mind was sharp his tool was sharp Solomon will sit down and people will come from different places for consultation when solomon was done talking when he was done talking i mean they are done when he was done talking when they pay consultation fee solomon will walk out rich loaded but solomon didn't have to use physical strength i don't know what you're using i don't know what you're using but i'm telling you sharpen your tool sharpen your tool sharpen your tool sharpen your mind take advantage of the mind that god has given to you start start renewing your mind through the word of god you know use God's Word Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 it says I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength I can that's the way I see myself I can do it I can do it I can do it I can do it